guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to be doing a review on buttons diapers um they did send me two of their diapers they sent me this black one it is called midnight and they sent me a really pretty green one and it is in the color marina um this is an all-in-two system but you do have to buy the inserts separately the diapers do not come with the insert and the cost for one of these diapers is going to cost anywhere between $11.50 and $13 just depends on if you get a print or a solid and they do have some really gorgeous prints two of my favorites that they have right now is called Wildwood and Cabana and you do pay a little bit more for the prints but their prints are really cute but they do also have some really really pretty solids um they also just released emerald and plum which is also really stinking pretty and they also have some really pretty tribal ones but i don't ever see them on the site when i'm on there looking um i just see them listed as their print options and the fit of this this is the one size cover by the way um the fitted this is going to fit between 9 to 35 pounds or you could also get a newborn um, cover which is going to fit 7 to 15 pounds and then they have this super cover which fits 12 to 40 pounds so to go ahead and start looking at this as you can see it has a three by three rise it has snaps here and a crossover snap so you can make this really tiny for little tiny babies and you open it up and here's what the inside looks like the inserts snap in because like i said this is an all-in-two system i'm gonna go ahead and take the insert out and just show you the basics of the cover real quick so this is the inside it's just pul but the thing that makes this diaper so great and feel like it's just such good quality is it's actually double pul so you can actually pull it apart and separate it i don't ever do that you just it's an option if you can so I'll go ahead and show you what this looks like on the smallest setting okay so here is how tiny the cover gets it gets super tiny little legs the waist gets really tiny and this is probably the tiniest cover that I have that's one size so if you're gonna use a one size cover on a newborn this is probably your best bet and I will show you it on the middle rise. Okay, so this is it on the middle rise. It is a little bit smaller. We actually can't use the middle rise setting on Kine. If we used the insert with it all the time, we could, but we like to use pre-folds with covers. Um, so we can't really do the middle rise with the pre-folds. It kind of bulks it out a little bit. We need to put it on the largest rise. But yeah, so that's what the middle rise looks like. So as you can see, it has this elastic in the front, which is really stretchy and it gives it kind of a lower bikini cut, which I really, really like the way that fits on Kyan. I don't feel like it kind of digs into his belly when he sits up and it looks a little bit more comfortable in my opinion. The back also has a really good, super stretchy elastic. I love how stretchy this diaper feels. You can just feel the quality of this i have a bunch of other covers i'm actually going to show you in comparison to this because honestly this is just the best diaper cover that's like a true cover all into system i guess i use it more as a cover as opposed to the all into i use the hemp insert our nighttime solution and i like the way that these fit so much that i don't use it at nighttime i prefer to use these when we're leaving the house or just around the house for kind of playing because he can move so easily in these diapers on the back of all of their covers, you'll see this super cute little button. I love this. I really like when my diapers have the brand or the logo on the back. I think it's really cute. Um, I just think it looks really cute in bum shots. Um, then you don't really have to explain where the diaper came from if their logo's on the back. And I think that's a really cute, just simple logo. Now that I notice it, I need to trim that off. This diaper also features double leg gussets and they're not huge and overly obnoxious i have a cover that i think that the double leg gusset is just way too big on and i really don't understand the purpose of that the only thing that i can think that might turn people away from this diaper is that on the inside there are no flaps um i'm actually really happy that there's no flap in the back i don't like a back flap when kyan goes poo his poo explodes all over the diaper it gets all up in the the crack back there so I really don't like diapers that have the back flap. I think it just creates unnecessary mess. It makes the diaper a lot harder to spray out. 
and there's no flap in the front, which they do have on the super cover. Um, so if you, a flap is something that you really want, you may want to pick up the super cover instead. Um, the super cover, cover also um, fits qu quite a bit bigger and this diaper fits a little bit smaller. So if you tend to have chunky babies, you may want to go to the super cover as opposed to this one. But I would really like a front flap on the front that way that the insert never pokes out it's not a huge issue for me i do without and that's this is still my favorite cover even without the front flap but if you are someone who needs a front flap then you may want to pick up or pick up the super cover instead um but i just love the way that this diaper fits kind so so much and it just seems so comfortable that i overlook it the leg elastics are really tight. I don't feel like these leg elastics would wear out and relax. And if they did, since they're so tight, I don't, I really don't think it would be that big of a deal. Okay, now I have this diaper stuffed the way that I typically use it with a um, fleece stay dry liner inside and a large oh so cozy cotton prefold on the inside. And I'm going to show you the size comparison to the other covers that I do have. So here's it next to a Smart Bottoms cover. I really do not like their covers. I've mentioned it before. The leg elastics, I just, they're too harsh on Kyan's legs and they're way too tight. Um, so here is it in comparison to Smart Bottoms. While it looks bigger, I feel like the Smart Bottoms actually fits kind of really weird, really way too small. I really don't like this cover. Here is it next to a Thirsty's one size cover. Um, they're both on the middle rise, by the way. Um, I set them all on the same rise so that you could kind of see the size comparison. Um, this is a Rumper Roos cover. Um, I like the Rumper Roos cover, but I still prefer the buttons. This is it next to the Wink cover that I have. Um, like the Romperoos, I really don't have anything to complain about it. I just really love the way the buttons fit. I love the low rise in the front. Um, it's definitely a little bit smaller than the Wink. Once again, it tends to run smaller, so there's a size comparison to that. And then here is it compared to my Thirsty's Duo Wrap Size 2. Um, it's definitely, once again, quite a bit smaller but this is also a size 2 duo rep so I don't really count I don't have a size 1 to compare it to um, but it is on the smallest rise actually instead of the middle rise so yeah that's just a quick review of the cover definitely if I could only if I was going to buy any cover it would definitely be this one while I do have other covers that I like just the fit of how this fits on Kyan he's a really tiny skinny petite baby there's not one fat roll on his little body these are our perfect diaper aside from no flap on the inside I can definitely overlook it just because how comfortable and how well made this diaper feels like the double PUL we don't ever get leaks with this diaper we've never had a poo explosion it's just amazing now I want to go on and talk about the um, inserts a little bit so I have here the size large hemp inserts and I don't want to go too in-depth because the review is mostly on the covers but I do want to glaze over them I'm hoping to get a bunch more of their inserts eventually and do like a big in-depth review on all of them but for now Chris has me on a no buy of diapers and I can't get any more for quite a while so here is the insert that I have this is the size large here it is just in comparison to a bamboo insert that I have this is from simple being um, so it's about the same size as that they were a little bit bigger when I got them they did kind of shrink a little I believe I don't have one left that's unshrunk to compare it to it has the buttons on the back the top of this is a stay dry liner and then the back of it is cotton well, it's actually a cotton and hemp blend sorry um, I really hope I haven't been saying cotton this whole time because I meant to say hemp so to go with the buttons covers you can get bamboo hemp or microfiber inserts I feel like for daytime I would really like to try the microfiber or bamboo um, I don't love to use hemp on its own because it's so slow absorbing but what it does absorb it holds on to so I really like to use hemp in comparison or in conjunction with another insert 
So for a day pack, which is what I have here, I have the daytime ones, a three pack of them on the size large is gonna cost you $24. A small pack is gonna cost you, a size small pack is gonna cost you 23 and then an extra large is gonna cost 25. <laughs> And the large is for babies who are 15 to 25 pounds, and Kyan is 20 pounds, so this is the perfect size for him. And all of their inserts and um, the materials, the sizes and stuff, all of them come with a different color trim. As you can see, this is the light blue. They all come with a different color trim to let you know what size and what material that you're using. Um, they also even have pre-folds that I eventually want to try because I love using pre-folds in covers. Um, they're pre-folds you can get in cotton or bamboo and you can even get cotton boosters to go in. They also have doublers that you can um, clip onto the, not clip, button onto the back of this and then you button them in. Those are nighttime doublers. It's really going to help you protect. I feel like I would really um, have luck with those because this is a part of my nighttime solution for kind. So what I have to do for night with him, I use a cotton pre-fold like I showed you a second ago I use a bamboo insert under that and then I use this on the very bottom and this is the godsend this is what really locks it in if I remove this we have leaks like crazy I can remove the um bamboo and replace it with something else but the pre-fold and this is my lifesaver okay guys just wanted to show you the fit I've got him on the largest rise come here come here He's in a really, really grumpy mood this morning. Come on, I'm gonna lift your leg. So, there's the legs. Hey, you're okay. So, here's the legs. Aww. It's okay. All right, you can get up. But yeah, there's the fit. Looks super comfy, huh? It's my most comfy one. You like it. Here, you have snacks in this bowl. You're fine. So yeah, just to quickly sum this up, I really think that these are a great value. Um, I really, really love their covers. I think they're amazing. You really can't beat the quality of them. The quality is absolutely top notch. Now also, I forgot to mention, the um, covers are made, the covers and inserts and all of that are made in China. And then the um, pre-filter are actually made in Pakistan. That's going to be it for this review. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. It's like 11 o'clock at night. I'm filming this super late, so I'm sorry if the lighting is crazy or if I'm talking really low. I'm trying to not wake up the kids. Um, but this is the only time that I had to film this video and I'm going to go ahead and go and I will see you in my next one. Bye!